Hello everyone, and welcome back to Project Architect. Um, once again, we're checking out some more server bases. Um, possibly, we might be checking out one base. It sort of depends on, I guess, what's below this base and how long it takes us to check it out. But if it's not too long, we might check out some others. But if it is long, I, I apologize in advance for uh, it maybe possibly being one base. But hey, it's a pretty big one. Now, this is JMCS Scotland. JMC's Scotland. JMC Scotland. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, or JM's, no, 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 it's JMC, yeah, <laughs> anyway, this is their base, um, we've got some portal action in here we might have to check out, some farming, main house there, some create stuff we'll look at, and I don't, there's a path leading possibly to the village, oh no, it actually leads to a pretty, okay, that's a pretty, I, I, I don't want to look at things yet, I just wanted to sort of like um, skim through and see, I guess, what, what we have in store, just how big it is, because I think that's just a normal village. I don't think there's been anything done there, but I also happen to know if we run all the way back here, normally I try and load some uh, distance for you guys, but, uh, so some distance, some like little render distance. Yeah, there we go. Now we can sort of see a little bit more. Um, over here, we have a power flower and I, I already read the sign, but it's, oh, oh, but it was a pretty fun sign to, uh, sign to read. But yeah, and it says it is the power flower tower of power. That's what this is. I like, I like as well. It's sitting on a glowstone stalactite. That single thing holding up this, this will power flower tower of power. And hey, I like it. I like it. Um, so here's the base. We'll, we'll check it out. We'll check out the outside. Then we'll head to the mi the middle part over there. So this right here is a teleporter, the spawn portal build in progress. Oh, I like this. Um, so in, ca in case you're not sure, let me just quickly show you where this portal leads. It's pretty cool. So this is on uh, server number one, so our public server, right? And as you can see, there's a few different claims here. They've gone ahead and the community, I, I've had no no hand in this, have gone ahead and built, is there anything on this? Uh, oh, JMC Scotland, yes. Yeah, nice. They've built a portal area, like a portal hub. So um, there's I, I added a portal to spawn that leads here. And so you can read the rules here and you can set up your little area and like, it's very beautiful. Like someone's base is obviously here. Someone else is here. Maybe it might even be like a, a an end. Oh, wait, well, no. That's probably the end portal there. But yeah, there's like some pretty cool stuff around here. And obviously, because we've got pictures, people are giving like little um, previews of their base. So we should actually be able to see. Oh, is this? What's this? Is this a bar? Wait, wait. Oh, there's something. You know, anyway, we'll, we might come back here if, the, if this base is small and we'll check out the bar um, because it's pretty cool. Or, you know, this area. Um, so this is the picture we've been given. This is uh, what we're going up against. Now, we're obviously looking at it in daytime. I'm not sure if um, it's meant to be nighttime. But anyhow, here's the here's the base. This area looks kind of neat. Um, it, it's weird because it's made out of coarse dirt and then like peat, which isn't really like ground blocks, but it, it sort of fits the environment. This like um, almost swampy forest, you know what I mean? With these fur logs uh, everywhere. And then this, <laughs> this is like barbed wire, dark oak wired fence. Just barbed wire around here. I don't, I don't know why. I'm not sure what they're keeping up, but I, it's cool. I like it. Um, so anyhow, we'll head over here. Um, so here's just a, a farm using, you know, uh, cyclic. So you got the harvester and the item collector, and it's going into here with a nice uh, avoid upgrade. Oh, just so that you know, some overflow protection. I always love to see that. Um, and then over here you have the create alternative, which, whilst, I mean, I guess it's just as efficient. It, it might be a little bit trickier to set up because you sort of need a I don't know. It's honestly just better. Yeah, mm, I won't say it's better, but it, it sort of is. I, I don't know. It looks cooler as well, and, and that's the main thing. Um, so that's nice. What are these? Illuminant block inverted from the Simply Light mod. Man, every base we go to, some somehow I'm just like, new blocks that I haven't seen. I, I don't know how. <laughs> we have like 200 episodes in some of these mod packs, and, and I've never seen some blocks before. Um, farms. So this is EMC and food. So I imagine this farm is for EMC. Oh, wait, that might make sense. And then this farm's for food. Now, the reason why this sort of makes sense in my mind is because um, it's possible that the... Oh, well, no. I think the agron agronomic source link works based on um, growing. I thought for a second it might be when you harvest the crops, but no, I'm pretty sure it's when it grows. Okay, well, anyway, I, I guess that's what's going on there. Um, over here, here is a... Honestly, a beautiful area. So are these... Oh, that's so smart. So in order to like keep the single theme around here, oh, I really like that. So they've used um, andesite casings, which obviously a block from create. And then for some of these other blocks, like to give that staring approach, staring approach, the stair approach, 
they've got frame stairs and then put in the NSI casing. So you can actually build a very nice, like, like look at how well this area looks. You don't have to try to blend this in with a type of oak or like some different type of block. It's just inside casing. I really like this. Um, so you've got obviously the blasting, the cooking, or I guess smoking, and then the uh, the cooling, the washing, the, the washing, that's what it's called. Um, so that's pretty nice. We've got also some purple soul fire. Um, I guess they're lights from Druidcraft. So a little bit of credit here. Not too much, not too much. Also a, a little bit of frame rate lag. So I don't know what's in store for us. I like nice water wheel as well. Might it like... It can be a bit tricky to pull off a water wheel that isn't just like, you know, hidden away, but that looks very nice. Um, up here, I this stood out when I came to this base and like popped in. I'm like, oh, that looks very nice. I believe this is fluid XP at the top and it's like a water fountain. So it goes down here and it flows all the way around. It looks very beautiful. Um, the I wonder how it looks like at night. Should we? I'll, I'll give it a test. We'll see what it looks like. Uh, you know what? It looks pretty nice. Once again, I'd love to see these um with shaders on. Hopefully that's not too far away. I feel like I say that every time I mention shaders, but in the future, I'd love to check. Like, can you imagine this base with some shaders on? The problem is it's it's far too difficult to do with OptiFine. So we need to wait for an alternative, which um, it's it's on its way. It's on its way. I, I have high hopes. Uh, okay. Well, anyway, uh, what else is this made of? This is made of, uh, oh, th these are framed floorboards and then diamond or bricks. Why are there floorboards? Huh? Like, there's a floorboard on top of this brick. Is it possible that the top of the bricks don't normally look like this and they might look a little bit worse? I'm not... No, but then these would look the same. I really don't know. Uh, some luminous glass, and then what do we have at the bottom? Some white concrete. And is there any secret that we're going to fall into? No, it's just... I mean, it's a... It's fluid XP. I don't know what else you expect. Uh, oh, we almost missed... We're missing a lot of signs. I will tell you that. Greenhouse, use create as kitchen area. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, we've got some pillars. Okay, so th th this <laughs> this will be another base that we will return to in the future. I'm telling you, um, th these people. Uh, listen, listen. Quite a few of these bases I've been I've been suggested to look at. Okay, I'm not I'm not jumping the gun on all of them. Um, but obviously they feel as though there's probably quite a bit more work they'll do in the future. Um, so that's nice. And what are these frame stairs with like dirt? There, like, like some of the small things. Like it's obvious to say like, hey, this big house looks beautiful, and it does. But a lot of this other stuff could make or break it. You know what I mean? Like, if this was all green, it, it still might look all right, but I think this does add a lot to it because it sort of separates just, like, you know, the forest from actually the part that's being lived, and I think it does look very beautiful. Um, whether it's all intentional, that's a different story, but it looks very nice. I, I will say that. Um, but I, before we go in the house, we'll, we'll check out the rest of this stuff. Um, is there anything under here? No. Sometimes there's, like, secrets you can find. It's like little Easter eggs. Um, this smeltery looks beautiful. New project, infinite netherite pool. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I don't know how they're going to pull that off with a single smeltery, but I like it. I also really like the design of this. It's it's always fun to look at smelteries because everyone does them a little bit different. Like, you wouldn't think so. You'd think it's pretty simple. You know, you just build a frame. But, like, look at this. Oh, I thought I heard an explosion. Hopefully, we didn't. Um, they've not only put a roof on top, but they've got it to go, like, up. And they've actually given it a chimney with like, you know, smoke that comes out the top. Very nice. Very, very nice. And the addition of the lightning rod, whilst obviously it should hopefully stop the house from burning down, it might also look cool. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you're smelting away and the smeltery gets struck by lightning. That would be very beautiful to see. Um, and yeah, just the rest of it's pretty normal. Just some lava down here. It looks like some blazing blood or whatever they call it uh, in the actual smeltery. And then what is this area? Oh, so more of these picket fences from uh, McCall's fences and uh, walls. I, I can't pronounce that word apparently. M McCall? McCall. <laughs> I'm, I'm like a crow. <laughs> McCall. <laughs> McCall's walls. I don't know what this is, but I really like it. So what? Oh, you know what? Is this just automated like smelting? Chuck in your ingredients here. They go through the smoker or the blaster or the furnace and then end up in here. I think so. And I really like it. So here we've got obviously, you know, once again, these framed blocks. Now, the frame blocks do cause quite a few random crashes on the server, but it is one of, it personally, what I think is one of the best mods in the game. In case you're not too sure what we're looking at, maybe you just watch these videos because like, well, you enjoy looking at cool bases and you don't know about mods. It's incredibly cool. You can place down these framed blocks and then you grab any type of block like polished granite and you can camouflage it like that. 
So essentially this one mod by adding all of these different uh, types of frames has essentially added all of these different types of like, you know, stairs and, and slabs without having to individually go and do it. It is such a, it's such a good mod for building. I really like it. I very much like this as well. This whole little area here, very beautiful. We'll say, not sure about the slabs at the front or the slopes at the front. I, I think that's the other problem is like, these are a bit steep. You know what I mean? Like realistically in real life, would you walk up this? That is very like, it feels dangerous. You know what I mean? It feels very dangerous. Um, but anyhow, I like it. I like it. Um, is there anything else? Uh, I guess there's the nether portal. We'll, we'll check the base out. We'll check the nether portal last. How's that sound? Oh, another lightning rod there. Yeah, they mustn't want uh, their place burning down. Um, I, sh I think I did that off camera at my base. I put some lightning rods around because I did not want to log on one day and find my house burnt down. Um, what are these? Flower boxes. Oh, I mean, they don't have any flowers in them, but they, they look nice. <laughs> you know, I guess maybe it's not the season. Uh, maybe. I, I don't know, but I like it. Um, and this is Zalkova planks. Oh, I really like these. The theme of this base is very nice as well. What do we have? Mineral logs. Oh, I didn't even remember. So mineral logs and then Zalkova and then some like dark oak and even some oh deep slate bricks. I thought they were seared bricks. So what are these? These are deep slate. Oh, they're seared brick and deep slate. Oh, I didn't even notice. Oh, that blends so well. Oh, I like that. Um, all right. Uh, I guess we'll check the rest of the outside as well because there's like this upstairs area. Oh, oh, whoa. Some nice potato farming on the on the side here. You know what? Yeah, yeah. I, I like it's not it's not too ugly. <laughs> it works, I guess. It works. Um, oh, oh, what is? Oh my god. So here, okay, they've got tinted glass that is meant to usually be used for like a mob farm. Behind it, it looks like they have blinds. They also have like, I don't know, more blinds. I, it's a very interesting wall. S stairs here, planks, and then panels. And then more, more different things. If you hear dogs barking, I, I do apologize. Um, but very beautiful base. Like once again, I would not be able to build something like this. Not any day of the week. What does this say? Nether portal, other mods, clear trees. Okay. So, so these signs are just like little, little mental notes, I guess. Okay, right. <laughs> I guess not mental notes if they're written down. I guess they're just notes at that point, you know. Um, very nice though. Like beautiful house. Nothing is really standing out as like um. Oh, that's weird. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes you, you see a build and you're like, hmm, I don't think that works. But this looks pretty nice. Obviously, this stands out a bit. This thing stands out a bit, but in a twisted good way. You know what I mean? Like, I'm excited to see what's on the other side. So, I guess we'll go in the side door and then I'll quickly run to the front door. Ah, uh, yep, the front door. Here we go. Okay, so the house is sectioned off into corners. All right, um, I guess we'll start here. I mean, just take a second to look at this. So, once again... I say it in almost every episode that we see it, but these chipped blocks, like these workbenches and stuff, look at the detail that has gone into them. So these workbenches, um, all the ones from Chipped, so um, if you look at the top of the screen, the blue text there is the, the name of the mod in case you weren't too sure. Um, chipped adds like uh, different types of blocks. So like this crying obsidian is added from Chipped. And so like to make these cool blocks, you need these really cool workbenches that have so much detail in them. And then you have this. This is a magic table, or I guess a scribe's table from um, Ez, Ez Nervia. Probably pronouncing it wrong, but it's fine. Um, and even it has some nice uh, 3D texture going on. It like, it looks so beautiful. Um, just a wooden table. Sure. Why not? Um, another aluminum block. A loom from Chipped. Looks very beautiful. Um, this corner looks like the bedroom. Oh, oh, how beautiful is that? Some nice sliding doors. Now, the textures look a bit weird. Possibly it's on my end, but... I mean, you guys get the idea. It's not meant to be flashing, right? It's meant to look nice. Like, from inside, it looks very beautiful. Look at that. And, I mean, the bedroom. Here are the blinds. Ooh. Oh, I like that. So, oh, that's actually really cool. So, so, they've sort of gone for some realism here, right? You've obviously got the blinds. But then also, because it's it's like tinted window. You know, it's like, it's like a privacy glass for uh, inside. Like, I want to see if we have those blinds open. How obvious is it from... I guess it's, it's pretty clear, but... I guess the co the concept is there, right? To have some nice, like, you can let in some light if you want. Oh, even more. Did I even see those? Hold on. We, ha we have a trinket that lets me climb walls. That's why I keep doing weird things. Okay, we do have, like, a nice tinted glass there. Okay. Can I? How do I? I'm going to let me back in. Here we go. Very nice. Um, So, in here itself, we have some drawers. 
Uh, we have a bonsai plant. Maybe I should get a bonsai plant. That would be very nice. Um, more drawers, cupboards, pretty much, you know, classic bed storage, blue carpet and whatnot. Very nice. Very nice. I like, I like it. Even around here, like just a little extra detail to make it, you know, not as one, one dimensional. And what is it? Once again, framed pillars. Like that looks so nice. And even like twisting it up with like, you know, the mineral corner there. So you've also got the mineral here. I, I like it. I like it. Oh, there's an elevator. There is more, th more than meets the eye. Um, what is this area? Dark matter for new players. Vending machine at spawn project. Okay, okay. So I think they're trying to figure out um, a way to, I guess, give like a new player like one dark matter. You know what I mean? And, and, and try to figure out a way so they can't get like infinite dark matter. You know, because yeah, it's nice. I guess, I guess. Obviously, it's it's optional. They're not going to like throw it in your inventory and be like, take it. So if you're, if you're not into that, you know, you can avoid that yourself. Um, matter receiver. All right. And then this last corner, I think is just full of like more chip stuff. Hey, listen, any excuse to throw down these beautiful blocks? Like, I mean, look at this one. You got like a piston. You have like some sort of command block looking thing. You've got cables, I guess, or pipes. Some tiny blocks of redstone. I, I guess what, like realistically in real life, if you were, if Minecraft was real, this would be like the size of the stuff. You know what I mean? Like, oh, it looks so nice. Planks and stuff under there for the carpenter's table. What's even down there? Di some TNT or dynamite. I like it. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's um, we'll jump. See if there's an upstairs. Oh, there is. Ah, uh, yeah, we we knew there was an upstairs. Oh, that might mean there's not a downstairs. Hmm. To be to be fair though, they've got quite a lot of stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a downstairs. Um, so this is just like an experience enchanting area. You know what I mean? Like they've got some experience here. They've got a transmutation table, which I imagine is for um bottles of whatever they're called, bottle of enchanting, right? Grab a little bit of XP if you don't have a farm anywhere. That can always be helpful. Um, yeah, not not too much going on. Enchantment library from Apoth Apotheosis. Very good uh, thing. This thing holds enchants. It is very cool. Like you could collect 10 efficiency 1 enchants and pull out an efficiency well, 10. A as crazy as that sounds. That's pretty much how that works. Um, so anyway, let's see if this is downstairs. Moment of truth. Ooh. Okay. One of these bases. <laughs> okay. Uh, just in case you weren't too sure, we're going to be looking at one base today. <laughs> okay, where do I start? Oh my God, there's a big hallway. What does this sign say? Yellow brick road, machine rooms, try follow cave. Hmm, there's so much to look at. Okay, well, we'll start over here. Um, So already, it looks like a room straight out of some sci-fi thing. Oh my God, look at this. They've got like a steampunk. What is this? This is from XK's um, deco again. Oh, wow. Man, some of the blocks that this mod adds are so cool. Like, look at this. Now, I can't, I'm right-clicking and it won't let me sit in it, but I can pretend. <laughs> oh, look at the... Man, the 3D textures. I mean, like, how long do you think it takes someone to make this? Because, like, realistically, right? <laughs> I, I don't want to talk it down, but, like, you know, there's not too much going on, right? Like, I, I wouldn't be able to do this, for the record. But if you can do this, I feel like it's so worth doing. Now, I don't know how you'd even begin to make stuff spin, but like, I feel like this looks so cool, right? Like th this pops compared to some other things, like even these stairs, a, te oh, a tech table. <laughs> yeah, I saw nothing. Um, all right, what's on the wall? Oh, to-do list. Decorate, modular routers, enchanting machines, machine progress, draconic, netherite pool. That was the, the smeltery thing. So much more. Um, Airs Nuvia, Yellow Brick Road Through Cave, and Emerald Ending. What's the, what's the Emerald Ending? <laughs> what's the, what's, what's the Emerald Ending? Hello? Am I, am I out of the loop on this one? <laughs> ah, oh, oh, guys, the Emerald Ending, of course. I don't know how you guys uh, don't know. I obviously know. Um, oh, these are crafting grids, right? And they've been dyed purple, right? But around them, a ventaduct covers from uh, XK's deco, and it makes it look, you know, a little bit more industrial, I guess. And I mean, this is spectacular. Look at this. They've got these beams are actually from this uh, XK de de uh, XK's deco mod, and like, look at it. it. It looks like it's actually suspended like above the ground. I'm personally, for me, I'm not sure about this. Uh, this glass at the bottom. I don't know. Like the top part, I, I like. I really like the rest of this. I'm not sure if this is doing what it's meant to do. 
You know what I mean? Like, I'm not sure what the effect is meant to be. You know what I mean? Like, maybe... Oh, I don't really know. Hmm. I Like, I feel like I don't see the full vision of what's meant to be here. I like... Listen, I like it. Even this... This black wall. You know what I mean? Like, that is pitch black. Like, look at that. Look, if I... There's nothing on my screen. <laughs> like, it is very dark. Um, I, I guess as black should be. But then, like, there's this black, which, you know, not, not as dark. Um, anyhow, anyhow, <laughs> we'll continue. Lots of slabs around the wall to make it, like, a little bit nicer. Oh, my God. So, this is another reactor. This one's a bit scarier with a random slope here. Now, there's glass in the way, but, like, that doesn't stop the slope from being a little bit scary. That is very nice. And this one has, like, the struts at the back. Oh, I really like this. Oh, see, and then th th this one sort of looks... A yeah, I, I don't think the glass works. I don't... And also, you know what? It, the glass might work. It might be the bits at the bottom being, like, squared. Whereas this one's, like, it's completely, like, one color. You know what I mean? Like, it looks like a goop, like an acid or something. Some, like, radiation down there. Anyway, very much liking these color schemes. Heavy stone bricks. And then, like, the mineral all around. I like it. Um, so here we go. This is the yellow... Oh... My God. What? Once again, listen, with bases like these, I hope you guys understand that like my, my reaction is my reaction. <laughs> I, I have some bases I look through to see like the scale of it. Other bases like this, I see the top and I'm like, that's enough. You know, like if there's a secret underground base, we'll, we'll see it. But I mean, like I genuinely like these look beautiful, but I, I don't think sometimes when you're watching something you're like, ah, oh, this guy's faking reactions, but Sometimes when you see the thing, you know what I mean? Like if you watch any of my videos, nothing looks this beautiful when I, when I try and make things. So then I do these checking out base videos and like, this is built in a cave around a ravine. Like this is a natural ravine that they've built around. Oh, and at the bottom, it looks like they put like, um, um, Aurora crystal or something. I, I don't know what it's called. Um, all right. So what's going on here? Ooh. Oh, secret doors. Oh, you know what that means? We've probably walked past like 50 secret doors. Oh my God. You know what I thought of as well? Oh, hmm. So uh, I, I hate to take you guys out of the experience here, but I I really need to do, check out some of these bases in VR. It would look so spectacular. Like imagine this, but like, you know, real life scale, like in VR. Oh my God. Like these are so beautiful. All right. Um, so this is the latex area, right? Just getting some rubber, some latex, pretty pretty standard stuff. You don't need to go too crazy with latex in this mod pack, especially because uh, the plastic that you usually need quite a bit of latex uh, for, or, or I guess rubber for, um, you can EMC that. So it's not too big, but you still need to set one up because some of the chemical dissolution stuff you need, a, you need it for. Um, so beautiful room, very much like it. We'll continue along this yellow brick path. I mean, like, I, I really like this concept of just having like in the middle of all these functional rooms that we have here, just like some decor, you know what I mean? Like just a beautiful, oh my God, just a beautiful, like natural ravine. Oh, there's a glass here actually. Oh, it's safe, but it's still scary. Um, okay. We'll, we'll I guess we'll go around this way then. <laughs> We're going to go uh, clockwise, but I guess not. Um, so this is once again, a nice glass frame door, almost sneaky, but obviously they couldn't help themselves. They couldn't connect the bar there. Um, this is an Ayers Nuvia room, but I don't really know what's going on. Source jar, source jar. There's a few more cables here. I very much like big chain from decorative blocks. Of course. Um, an enchanting apparatus in the middle, arcane core there, and then some modular routers. Ooh, let me open this. Okay. Nothing in it. Okay. I wonder if these would place pedestals and put the things inside the pedestals because the modular routers I've messed around with them a little bit. They can do a lot. Like, they, they are more than meets the eye. I can barely get out of here. They're pretty cool. Um, more airs, other magic mod. So, there's, like, an extra expansion room. Oh, I like this. And then here's more of this untouched cave. Uh, I mean, they've put lamps in, but I think all these crystals are natural. I think. Very, so, this is all possible expanded area over here. Oh, I really like that. That's very nice. Um, the glass stairs... Oh, you know what? They don't look as bad as... I, I was going to say, like, you could probably just do normal glass, but um, they don't look too bad. Obviously, like, a little bit disappointing that um, for whatever reason, they don't connect, you know, sideways. I don't know how difficult that would be. I also don't know, don't know if our framed blocks really allow for it. That might be the issue as well, but 
It, looks, it, it still looks nice enough. It, it, it's, you know, justifiable. Um, what are these? Frame stairs, but it's gray concrete, giving this like smooth um, effect around here. All right, uh, so so what is this? Uh, frame door? Yeah, yeah, frame door's over here. Oh, I like it. Um, so this place is, I guess, a fluid room. Liquid meat, just a container of liquid meat. Uh, pink slime, oh, they're, they're flat out of, of pink slime. Um, and then possibly essence, maybe some ether gas. Yeah, yeah, nice. They've got obviously like the, the colors spread out here. Uh, the liquid meat color, <laughs> it's so gross, dude. It's like, ah. Oh. Man, who came up with that? That would have been something that they were like laughing about as they made that. You know what I mean? Like the industrial foregoing team. They're like, what if we um make a, a block called the Mob Slaughter Factory? And like, what if it just gives you liquid meat? God, wow, how gross. All right, to do, repurpose. Oh no, to be repurposed. Thermal machines, industrial, mm, perhaps, maybe. <laughs> um, all right. And then over here, oh, power crafting setup. No, power crafting. Set up routers for automate, auto crafting. Okay. Oh, I just guessed and, and the door was here. Um, yeah, modular routers. Okay. So I guess somehow these modular routers, if set up correctly, will automate the crafting here. I guess one will like input stuff somehow and one will output stuff. Very nice. I like the room. I like the room. So far though, I think, not to pick favorites, but I think the last base we looked at, um, their power setup where they had like a, a hazard room and there was like all in all like scary to go in. That that power setup was beautiful. I, I'm a big fan of that one. What are these, by the way? Framed fences with something. Not sure what it is, but it's something. <laughs> and it's there. Uh, can I possibly can I steal it and see what it is? Um I think I can. If I go now survival mode. Here, if I break this, here we go. It is blocks of electrum. Oh, it's a nice electrum fence. <laughs> hey. Sure, why not? Why not indeed? All right, I believe that is the entire down here area, I guess you would say. I think so, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I checked out the rest of this. Yeah, th these are all the, the crazy reactors and stuff. All right, let's... Okay, okay. I was a little bit scared to crouch again, but it's fine. We're, okay, we're safe. We're safe. We've checked out... I think we've checked out this entire... Oh, there's a roof. Of course, there's a roof. I gotta go out the front door. Man, having to use the front door in this day and age. Oh, you know what? The nether portal. I forgot about the nether portal. Let's um, let's go check it out. So follow this this path with like some pebbles or you know stone buttons, gravel. I think we've got again. Oh, I'm currently frozen, but um, <laughs> I guess I'll just keep talking. You guys can still see what we're looking at. Um, they've gone for the three level thing again. Once again, I think at the last base they had moss. Moss carpet was used to get this three different levels. So the grass path, then it goes to a normal block. And then they're, they're actually using framed floorboards from our frame blocks. So they can put any type of block to get this extra elevation there. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. And then just like gravel and stuff. You get the, like the very nice dips. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, all right. So here is the nether area. A, a Cincinnosite lantern. Some ebony trap doors. Um, is that what they're called? Yeah. Um, and then what do we have over here? A little bit more. The, the, what would you say? Oh, what's this? Frame stairs of something. Um, the path is like trying to get in, but then it's like overtaken by the nether, which is done very nicely, might I say. It looks very nice. And then, pff, how do you even break down this thing? Like, what, what do we have? Magma bricks, framed walls with like, um, possibly just magma magma blocks. Some frame pillars with netherite. Um, oh yeah, here, here we go. Magmatic stone. That's what it is. Some more obsidian, some crying obsidian in the portal just to give it that little extra, um, I don't know. Magic, I guess. <laughs> and then the top here, a nice pillar with some more of those lanterns in the middle. Looks very nice. There's also, ooh, before we go in the portal, I don't know if, what are you? Are you a moose? That is horrifying. Yeah, you're a moose. Yeah, uh, hey, you find a new mob every day. <laughs> um, and, and so yeah, then here's the village. Which from a quick look, I mean, I don't think think that it's been touched too much it, it looks pretty normal anyhow let's 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 head through the nether portal listen listen do we think there will be a base on the other side like other than just the nether place your bets in the comments right now <laughs> i'm going in in three two one let's see what we got come on come on something some sort of base oh 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 uh, winner we're winning uh, uh, who won who won the bet? 
Who won the million dollars? Here we go. Okay, we've actually got something. Um, the Wither Drainer Zoo. Wither Drainer Zoo. So, oh, oh, look at this. Ah, okay, okay. There's some ethereal glass here that you can go through. And it's made out of bones and then these hazard um, or factory danger rusting blocks. Over here, we just have some travertine, of course. Ugh. It's kind of a gross block, isn't it? Travertine. And then over here, what do we have? I, I don't even know. There's some ethereal glass, but I'm not allowed in. <laughs> don't know what it is. Very nice. And then, yeah, what's that? Anti-block black. This is what gives that, like, if I stand up to it. Oh, my, no, that's just concrete. Um, I guess if I stand here and zoom in, you can't really see much. Pitch black. I like it. Um, all right, so this is going to be some sort of a zoo, I guess, for, I guess, different types of nether mobs, possibly even a wither being uh, mined up. Um, it looks like you need to do a little bit more uh, claiming here. I'll, I'll chuck you a DM to make sure you get that. Um, we, we have logs and stuff, so if someone comes and grief you um, or whatever, we can just... We, we should be able to fix it, and we'll also just perm ban them. So if you're, like, watching this and I forgot to tell you or something and you're stressed out, don't. Don't stress too much. But do make sure you clean it because then... Or claim it, sorry, because then that just, you know... In fact, I think I can claim it for you using some commands. So I'll, I'll do that after this video. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Um, so anyhow, I'm pretty sure that's this base checked out. Pretty big base. I quite liked it. <laughs> Very big base. Oh, we're falling through the void. Nope, here we go. Okay, freedom. Yep, can I? Let me... Uh, please. I have family. Okay, okay. We're oh, uh, anyhow. <laughs> anyhow. Um, beautiful base. Very beautiful. I think I'll just snap up a thumbnail of like this area here. Because I, I think that's quite nice. And the, the underground will just be a surprise um, as per usual. Uh, possibly in another video, we might check out some of the bases at the spawn area that we saw. That portal spawn. That's always an option. Um, the reason I haven't just been running through and doing that is because some of them aren't finished. Oh, what do we have over here? We have like a love hut. Bubbly rarity. Um, that's my claim. I mean, there's this is server one that I'm on, by the way. So this is the public um, project architect server. This map gets very laggy. Because each of these colors that you see, like, look at them load in. Let me zoom out again. Okay. All of these little specks out here, even, like, over here, some up there. Oh, we're still loading some spots out here. These are all bases. There are a lot. Um, yeah, <laughs> there's a lot. There's still probably more on all the mod 6 that we could possibly look at at some time. Like, in terms of checking out bases, that's, like, endless content. Like, genuinely, it is pretty much endless content. So, um, big thank you to you guys for, uh, making these bases and they're spectacular. I, I genuinely, I, I hope you, I hope you're happy with them <laughs> because they, they are beautiful. Um, and I hope they do stay up on my channel for what well, the rest of, Ooh, for the rest of time, because like, you know, I, I think it would be really cool to in the future, you know, years from now, see someone, oh, there's more to the base. <laughs> I'm doing the outro and what? Oh my God. I feel so sorry for anyone that clicked off the video. I thought we were done. What is... This is one of the coolest things of the base. Oh, it's, okay, it's a work in progress. So this is a mob farm. We've got some cursed earth there. It looks like there's some blocks stopping them from spawning at the moment. Or maybe only letting certain mobs spawn. Like spiders and one high mobs. Oh, it's beautiful. So these are um, hollow steel oblique beams that are just like connecting to all the different, um, I guess, bits. Over here, we've got like a, these support struts holding it up. This is beautiful. Like, this is actually very cool. And then, yeah, more of these deep slate bricks. This is done very nicely. It's like a jail. You know what I mean? Like, it's a maximum security. You've got it floating over the air. You've got, like... Well, I mean, they're kind of grinding up the prisoners. But, like, you get the idea. It's, like, very dangerous. You can't just have it there. And then, what's this? This over here is just a wall of water? You know what? It's not even water. I think that's molten... Cobalt, right? <laughs> I think that is. Okay, I, th I think that's the base, right? But yeah, as, as I was saying, <laughs> as I was saying, I, I really hope to see in a few years from now, people commenting like, oh, wow, I like, I I missed this base or like, I forgot, I forgot that I did this. You know what I mean? Like, or, you know, it's been a while. Like, I, I think that's really cool because I, I love doing that on some of my old videos going back and being like, oh, yeah, this looked pretty cool. That's, what, that's why I try, I've, especially with this series, I've been trying to build things that, look somewhat nice so that we can, you know, reminisce on the memories, uh, a little bit more appealing <laughs> memories. Um, but yeah, very cool. Very cool. I, I very much like this. Um, a little surprise out in the woods. Like, ah, oh, it, it fills me with so much joy. Like, 
I, I, I know it's corny, but like growing up, right, man, I loved playing Minecraft and I loved watching people play Minecraft. And the fact that like, this is ours, right? This is ours that someone's playing on a server that I'm hosting. You know what I mean? Like for a game that I play like every day, like, oh dude, it's <laughs> okay. I'm going to end this video before I start tearing up. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, <laughs> thank you to everyone who supported this, uh, this series and this channel. This series in particular has boosted our channel like crazy. Um, we've had a crazy amount of new people joining. Um, and Hey, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So thank you guys so much. Obviously, big thanks to uh, Chosen Architect, especially especially for this series and all the growth since, well, he made the mod pack and, and no no doubt pretty much every viewer that's come for Pro, Progen Architect, uh, Progen, Progen Architect? <laughs> Project Architect um, has come from Chosen Architect. So so thank you so much. I know I know it's unintentional, I guess, um, but it, it still happened nonetheless. So, uh, so thank you. Um, but yeah, beautiful base. Very beautiful. Um, and that goes for pretty much every base we've checked out. Even the little ones, you know, they're, they're pretty fun to look at. Um, so yeah, thank you to everyone who supported me financially. Obviously, you do not have to, but for those of you who do, for those of you who feel that they're financially stable and, and want to do that, thank you. Thank you a lot. Thank you so much for uh, helping keep these servers up and running and helping us, you know, get the upgrades that hopefully get these servers to run better. But man, modern Minecraft, it does not like to run well. I'll tell you that much. Um... There's a few mods that we're looking at. Uh, it, it doesn't really matter too much. Just I, I was just going to start rambling about even more like things that probably doesn't even uh, bother you guys too much. But um, yeah, nice. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're happy. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one where, I don't know, maybe we check out um <laughs> one of these splotches on the map. Maybe. Uh, maybe we play some more of our series or I don't know. We'll find something to do. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.